Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and in this video, we're going to look at some neat recording solutions for musicians on the go from Zoom. We've got the Zoom R8, R16, and R24 digital audio recorders. While it's tempting to think of these as simply digital versions of yesterday's portable tape recorders, these three models are a lot more sophisticated than that. While allowing you to record music and audio to SDHC cards, these units also function as audio interfaces and control surfaces for your computer and DAW. Along with their built-in microphones, they also offer additional features depending on the model, including effects, a drum machine, and sampling. Since these work so well as audio interfaces, I'm running my lav mic into the R16 and using it to record the audio for our podcast in Cubase LE, which is included with all three models. We're going to start with the Zoom R8, the newest and smallest in the lineup, offering eight tracks of simultaneous playback. The lightweight plastic chassis gets its power from either four AA batteries or its USB connection, which can get power from your computer or from the included power supply if you're using it in standalone mode. You're limited to recording two tracks at one time on the R8, and the combo quarter-inch XLR inputs are on the back, along with two quarter-inch outputs for monitors and a quarter-inch headphone jack, each with their own volume knobs. Both inputs allow you to switch between their corresponding built-in mics on the front of the unit or mic line signals and feature gain controls. Input 1 also gives you a high impedance option, which eliminates the need for a direct box when recording guitar or bass, for example. There's a phantom power switch to supply power to condenser mics, and the controls offer the usual suspects, a fader for each of the eight tracks and the master, transport and function buttons, menu navigator, and data wheel. Now on top of those basic features, the R8 offers some really helpful built-in tools to help you create music. First up is the drum machine, which you call up by hitting the rhythm button. You get 10 different drum kits and hundreds of patterns to choose from to get you in the groove. You can edit the patterns in step mode or play the velocity sensitive drum pads. In addition to the drum machine, the R8 also offers 500 megabytes of built-in loops from Big Fish Audio for additional drum options using the built-in sampler. Up to now, I've been talking about the R8 as an 8-track standalone recorder, but as I mentioned, it can also function as an audio interface and controller for your computer and DAW via its USB 2.0 port. The R8 uses Mackie control emulation to talk to your DAW, and setting it up in Logic, for example, was super easy. Choose Mackie control in Logic's control surface preferences, go to the USB page on the R8, and select the audio interface setting, and that's all there is to it. Now the two inputs on the R8 can be routed to tracks in your DAW for recording, and my faders and transport controls on the R8 are controlling the DAW. Output from the DAW shows up at the R8, and I can plug in headphones or a pair of monitors into the quarter-inch outputs. Also, if I want to import recordings I've created on the R8 to my DAW for mixing, it's no problem. I can simply use the R8 as an SD card reader and pull the info right into my computer. Now, earlier I mentioned the built-in stereo mics on the front, and to give you some idea of how they sound, I pulled my lav mic for a minute, and now my voice is being recorded to Cubase LE from the R8's mics. Obviously, they're picking up more room ambience than the lav, but the sound is reasonable for demos and quick ideas, and having two mics built in gives your recording some stereo depth. I've been focused so far on the R8, the newest member of the Zoom R family, but let's take a quick look at the R16 and the R24 models. As the name implies, with the R16, you have 16 tracks available to record on, and you can record up to eight tracks simultaneously. So if you're looking to record multiple musicians performing together, it's a good fit. Instead of the two combo XLR quarter-inch inputs we saw on the R8, the R16 gives us eight of these, two of which, inputs five and six, offer phantom power for condenser microphones. The R16 offers two built-in mics, which are available on inputs seven and eight, and input one gives you a high Z option for guitar and bass tracking. The larger size makes it slightly less portable, but on the other hand, it makes for a better DAW controller, and the four-segment LED metering is a welcome addition. The R16 doesn't have the drum machine or sampling functions, but it does offer some excellent effects, including reverbs, chorus, and delay effects on the send, and some helpful insert effect algorithms that make recording a lot easier. The eight compressors and EQs setting is a good example. Offering several presets for recording vocals or instruments, this setting gives you eight EQs and compressors that can be then individually edited. There are plenty of other algorithms to choose from, including settings for mastering, bass sounds, and distortion. 
Also convenient on the R16 is the additional USB port, so in addition to connecting to a computer, you can add an additional storage device or use two R16s at the same time for a total of 16 simultaneous inputs to your DAW. Now, if you want the sampling and drum machine functions from the R8, but need more than eight tracks, then the R24 might be the right fit. The R24 gives you the same input-output configuration from the R16, but gives you 24 tracks to work with, although like the R16, you can only record eight tracks at one time. It also features the drum machine and the sampler from the R8, but includes a USB flash drive with more samples to work with. Not only does the R24 give you a full one gig of Big Fish audio loops, which is double than what you get with the R8, the flash drive also features 500 megabytes of additional drum loops from Peter Erskine. These are great building blocks for quickly getting grooves up for songs and demos. So with three models to choose from, the Zoom R series of recorders offer a lot of features for field recording and music making. The R8 has a sampler, drum machine, and effects built into a small, ultra-portable package, while the R16 offers eight inputs and 16 tracks to work with. Finally, the R24 combines the recording capabilities of the R16 with the R8's sampler and drum machine and gives you 24 tracks and additional loops. For more information, please visit us online, give us a call, or stop by our New York City Superstore. You can also connect with us on the web.